Hi, I'm Anna Ross Davies and today I'm going to show you how to ride a correct centre line for a dressage test. So Epi is going to demonstrate riding correct centre line for us. So she's thinking of a half 10 metre circle and looking at a point beyond A, which is so that she can keep riding forward in a straight line. And it's a good idea to ride a little bit forward up the centre line, a little bit more forward, as often that helps you stay straight. If you do wobble, just keep riding forward back onto the line. Don't try and, and sort of wobble your horse from left to right. Just ride a little bit of a diagonal line back. And then another one. Oh, okay. And come round again, Epi, and another correct one. So Epi's going to keep left flexion as she comes up this centre line because she's turning left at the end. So she's decided to enter from the left and that way she doesn't have to worry about changing the flexion. She can just keep the same left flexion all the way up the line and that means she gets a smooth turn. Right, OK, Epi, let's see you overshoot the line a little bit this time. And we see this quite a lot where people haven't planned the turn quite well enough and they go a bit on past the marker and then it's whoops oh we've missed and then back on now that was a, a big <laughs> a big overshoot okay but you see she's corrected it well by coming back up and riding a straight line and now let's see that again epi but this time undershoot the line so this would be where she turned a little bit too early and good ways to practice getting the turn correct are to find a point beyond the a marker and look at it and keep your head pointing at it and keep the horse's head pointing at it. There we are, and now she's got to do a little wobble back over onto the line. Okay, and can you come again, Epi, and this time perhaps let him wander off the line a little bit and show how you would ride straight back onto that line. And what's really important here is not to overcorrect. If you do come off the line a little bit, as I said, you just ride a straight line back onto it. Okay, so we've gone a bit for a wonder and now straighten and ride forward. There we are. And so there was a bit of a deviation and a wobble in that, but she got it, she got it back. Okay, this time, Epi, could you halt at X? It's always a good idea to know which way you're going to go and to enter from that rein. Lots of riders have a preferred rein they enter from, and that's fine so long as you're confident you can change the flexion in the horse without interrupting the rhythm. And as you can see, the horse has halted. He's not quite straight there. He's got his right shoulder sticking out. So just use your right leg epi and just straighten up a little bit more. But that was a good reaction from him. Boris. <laughs> and in a test, that's it. This would be too long. Your best, I think a good rule in a test is that you make one adjustment. And then really, I think you have to leave it from there. Now, to make the depart forward, you've got to make a nice brisk transition back up to trot. So where you go, epi and trot straight and go 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 a little bit slow off the mark there <laughs> right and we'll come and just to ring the changes there he come from the right this time good so thinking of the right flexion bend in the corner and looking at something beyond a so look now look now that's it okay now you saw she looked a little bit late and she just about made it onto the line but it would have been better if she'd looked earlier okay and still as you can see this horse got a little bit of a tendency to put his shoulders to the right so go forward again epi and use your right leg and this is where the right has got to be a bit clever and trot forward so this time i'm going to ask epi to come onto the line and ride a little bit of feeling of the horse's shoulders to the left as she rides on the line to try and correct that because he's done that a couple of times now. So I'm thinking that is probably a little bit of a habit of his. That's a good thing to watch out for in a horse of yours. Shoulders a little bit to the left, Epi. And <laughs> right leg and halt. That's a little bit untidy, but it is straighter. And often things get a little bit untidy when you correct them. And now straight forward. Go. Good, Epi. That's a better move off. Here's my final tip for riding a dressage test. It's really important to remember that almost all of the movements are marked out to 10 and that includes the easy ones as well as the harder ones. So if you want to really pull your marks up, practice the easy movements just as much as the hard ones as those marks are easier to get. I'm Anna Ross Davies, thank you for watching and I hope you've enjoyed learning about dressage today.